all right what's going on everybody we've got some pretty cool thing going on we've got the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series schedule we had a TBA date a lot of y'all might have seen the schedule now the to be announced date is up I actually made a video on this uh, at ICAST talking to some of my fellow elite anglers asking where they thought and where they wanted the T TBA tournament to be and a lot of them were actually pretty right so without further ado Y'all know how the Bassmaster Elite Series has started off the last three years in a row. Number one tournament has been St. John's. I'm pretty partial to that place. Kind of kicked off my career there. Had a good finish. Caught a dang 10-pound, one-ounce, giant bass from the St. John's. Pretty special place as far as I'm concerned. That's where we're headed first. I think it's February the 10th. Let me look at my cheat sheet. February the 10th, St. John's River. It's going to be a fun one. Y'all know what happens there. If we hit it right, going to be really, really big weights. But there's been a lot of fog delays the last few years. It's been... A little bit too early for us the last couple years but <clears throat> you never know how it's going to happen in florida there's going to be some up going to be some spawning going to be some pre-spawners things going to be more of the same as far as that one goes headed straight from there to the very next week going to the harris chain of lakes in florida probably the best fishery as far as i'm concerned in florida just as far as diversity goes lots of fish in there that lake well, at least whenever i fished there in 2019 when i fished the opens that lake seemed to have the best amount of those two and a half to three pounders as far as anywhere i've been in florida seemed to have a bunch of them seemed to be able to catch a 17 18 pound bag there kind of with no big bite which is other places in florida that's a little bit tougher to do you can do it but it's kind of rare usually you catch a six pounder and have that 17 pound kind of pound day but gonna be a really good lake gonna be a really good tournament i don't know when the elites have been there last but i know they have not been there as far as i've been on the elites so it's gonna be a cool one a lot of diversity there a lot of lakes to check out from there we're headed to the bassmaster classic it's gonna be lake hartwell early march pretty excited about that one but that doesn't really count as an elite series tournament because that is kind of a last year's tournament but we're gonna go to that one and try to swing try to catch them big on, on lake hartwell from there, we're going to probably going to be the biggest weight one of the year. Between here and Lake Fork, it's going to be the two with the potential for the most weight. March the 17th, Santee Cooper. It's going to be kind of a pre-spawn deal. There may be some spawning. I'm not really sure. I would imagine it's going to be a 95% pre-spawn type of a deal, and they're going to be catching them. It's going to take giant weights. From what I know about Santee, it's not super easy to get bites, but there's some really, really big ones in there. I'm looking for that one to take 100 pounds. I really believe it will could take you know well over 100 pounds could take 115 pounds that seems extremely reasonable to me i mean if it took 120 i wouldn't be surprised that lake has that many five six pound fish in that i think somebody could catch 30 pounds a day four days in a row i really really do and have that 120 pound deal so from there we're going to another powerhouse fishery that's been kind of falling off in the last few years lake chickamauga april the 7th i believe yeah april the 7th that lake has kind of went downhill fast in the past three years as far as i'm concerned has not been a very good lake the weights have been extremely low trending downward for the past five years but we're going there in april gonna be some big weights gonna be some big fish caught still going to be a little bit early for the sight fishing deal there, there's going to be some spawning there's no doubt but for the most part that's going to be a pre-spawn tournament going to be a lot of fish caught grouped up still in the grass in the ditches in that type of a you know kind of rattle trap type of a deal april 7th every time that time of year you think bed fishing and then it ends up getting one fishing for pre-spawner so i'm really anticipating that being the deal there again this year from there we're going to a uh, sure enough powerhouse may the 19th lake fork gonna be completely off bed i mean there could still be some spawning uh but for the most part it's gonna be a post spawn type of a deal they're gonna be feeding up on shad they're gonna be offshore they're gonna be really really deep it's mid it's like the third week of may may 19th so i'm anticipating it being that offshore bite really kind of being the typical way to catch the biggest bag there's gonna be a shad spawn there's gonna be some brim beds there's gonna be fish shallow for sure but for the most part that offshore deal maybe live scoping some trees as we've seen it works pretty good there so i'm really anticipating that being kind of the major player that time of year and i wouldn't be surprised at all if it didn't take over 100 pounds over 110 120 you just never know there that time of year it could literally take 130 pounds which is which is just crazy high weight so i wouldn't be surprised no matter what happens i wouldn't be surprised if it took 85 and i wouldn't be surprised if it took 140 that leg just has them in it it's just are we going, when we get there are they going to be firing or not because leg gets a lot of pressure and if there's not some kind of a major wave or bait kind of migration or something it's really hard to get in front of those fish and catch those big weights so looking forward to that one though that'll be a really big weight deal the next one, July 14th, St. Lawrence River. Made a really, really poor decision there this year. You know, I, 
I caught them really good in practice. I caught them pretty good the first day, caught seven or eight over three pounds the first day. And then on day two, I just made a bad decision. That's how it goes in tournament fishing. I don't think it has anything to do with smallmouth fishing. I think I just made a bad decision on that one going into day two. But St. Lawrence River, July 14th, it's gonna be a really, really good one. I think it's gonna be even better than it was this year when we was there because we're putting in at the lower end. So it's gonna make the lake more accessible. It's gonna make the better part of the river more accessible. So I'm anticipating that being possibly the biggest weight smallmouth tournament the biggest weight four day smallmouth tournament that's ever been you know it could definitely take over 100 pounds that time of year the next one lake Oahe, way on out in the dang dakota somewhere who thinks about a dakota south dakota or north dakota for bass fishing i think this one's in south dakota let me check and make sure Yep, South Dakota, way on the other side of the country. Probably my longest drive yet to a Elite Series tournament, and there's still a lot of country even past that, but looking forward to that one. There's less kind of history there, which I really, really like. The Leeds did go there in 2018 when MDJ won, but for the most part, not a lot of history on that lake. It's got some really big smallmouth. It's got a lot of fish in it, so it's going to be a cool one. I really like those ones where, you know, the veterans that's been around there 20 years. It's not exciting for me when they've been to Lake Gunnersville 15 times and I've been there once. It just, that doesn't seem super fair to me, so I really like going to Lake Oahe and those types of tournaments where nobody's ever been, or if they have been, they went one time. So that, that'll be a cool one. And then after that, Mississippi River Lacrosse. Bass has a lot of history there. A lot of these guys have been there a whole bunch of times. I personally never been there, but I'm excited to go. I'm excited to go flip a braid around, throw a frog around, catch them the way that I want to catch them. Should be a shallow water deal. Even fishing for smallmouth can be primarily shallow water. So that's going to be a really exciting tournament. The entire schedule as a whole, we've got some familiar faces on there, which I'm, I don't really like that much. I really prefer going to the, to the different places, but... You know, whenever you've got a place like St. John that's that electric and that dynamic and the crowds are that big, how could you not go back? I really understand why we're going back. So, excited about next year. If y'all are going to be close enough to come to any of those weigh-ins, come, say hello, check it out, watch the weigh-in. Hopefully watch me weigh in five biggins. Never know how it's going to go, though, but I appreciate y'all watching this video. It's going to be an exciting year. Pretty excited about it. Appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you live the closest to, but you can't tell me anything about the fisheries because it's already off limits for every single one of those tournaments. I can't get any info, but appreciate it, guys. We're about to go fishing.